the first step we want to do, we talk about uh, multi-orgasm, okay? The multi-orgasm. And this multi-orgasm is exactly what we say, a love vibration, okay? So this love vibration, the DNA renewal needs arousal, orgasm, love, and compassion, okay? So when you, com when you can combine these two energies together, what you can do is link together, they call love vibration. Love vibration will make the DNA renewal in a very original beginning. Okay? What the, or, what the beginning is the original form. Okay? But when you have this arousal orgasm love vibration, you can go back into original split. And that is when you have these two forces come together, it's strong enough to get rid of all the negative things in your body out. That, that's the first step. We call a uh, return to zero, or we call original setting. When your mobile telephone has big trouble and give you all kinds of trouble, so what you, what the first thing you have to do? Setting. Go back a factory <laughs> setting. <laughs> Go back <laughs> and start over again. And that is what this energy. So love on phase five, love past sex and love vibration. Now, we're going to, the whole team, we're going to talk about, and that's why the whole team, we talk about multi-orgasm, okay? And the, this multi-orgasm is so much involved with, um, and back to 4,800 years old, okay? And this. We just get one example about this. This is what 4,800 years old Jack Manuel talk about. They don't know anything, but they know that making love can heal. So they call healing love, okay? And they discover that uh, when we make love and have arousal, and these two energy combine very well, not every time we do. Because making a good love and good sex involves so many things. Number one, the organs have to be in good condition. The gland have to be in good condition, and the both have to be in a good loving mode and arousal mode. So when they come together and they make love, they multiply this loving energy. And the Tao refer that is medicine. Um, making love, the first part we want to do is the gland system, nipple and massage. Making love is a chemical warfare, okay? Chemical here means a uh, gland system. So every gland system has to activate. So in the nipple, in the nipple part, we can see the nipple is connecting to every single part of the body of the gland system. So when we activate the glands, uh, the nipple, it activate all the major gland system in the body. So when the hormone, organ, plus sexual energy, in the Taoism say, gathering the medicine. And this is a big medicine. When you combine the five major organs, we call medicine. And that is a smaller medicine. But when you combine all the gland system and all the organ system together, and the sexual energy together, past the forces, and it's a great medicine. So the great medicine is in one how you gathering it. So that's why in one we, um, we call um, multi-orgasm. Multi-orgasm is what? So, when you feel arousal, orgasm, and uh, for men, men, women also the same, 
we, if we divide sexual practice, uh, sexual, so we say 10 is ejaculation. Okay? In the doubt, compare like that, hey, you are spoiling your medicine. <laughs> your medicine gone. <laughs> now, 9 is a, li a little bit overcooked. It burned out. So it's not good also. That is the time we call just a right time to gathering the medicine. Now we know that immune system need energy. And immune system need original energy. Not only the fuels. A normal food that we eat and normal breathing cannot fuel them very well. Because immune system is what? In the subconsciousness. You cannot conscious about it. But by training, you can make them to be conscious and subconscious. Okay? And the only train from conscious to subconscious is start from breathing. And when you focus on the point and feel fire, you're increasing the chi, the original chi. Because original chi is the one that the subconscious need to use. So when you have enough fire, the first thing, Digestion, absorption is unconscious. But when you activate the original fire, it activates the absorption. Kidney fire, it activates the digestion. And that is subconsciousness. Breathing is conscious and subconscious. So they have a link between back and forth. Okay? So you can use the conscious. And when you learn how to breathe lower in the abdominal, you activate the heart, and you can lower down the heart. Now, lower down the heart beat is subconsciousness. Okay? But in the requirement that when you focus in your dantian and you inhale, exhale, you can measure your, blood, your heart going down. And you can measure the mind are going down. Now, you have, when you focus, enough fire burning. And that is the most powerful link between the conscious and subconsciousness. And increasing the digestion is very important, conscious and subconscious. Because we cannot control the digestion, but our mood, our stress, subconsciously affecting it. So all the stress and emotional affecting digestion and absorption. So by learning how to breathe, more conscious into a subconscious and by learn how to feel gather focus the light into one when you learn how to be focused all your work change your life you're more focused okay you're more focused on what you want to do but when your light are gathering into one it's called focus holding the one now you can cut still you see? If you focus the, the laser strong enough, you can cut still. Okay? But your mind is so scattered. The light is where it's scattered. It's gone. You cannot do anything. And you have no goal. Setting goal is conscious mind affecting the unconscious mind. Okay? So now... Conscious mind affecting the unconscious mind. When you are in the very calm and relaxed state, you can repeat and tell the subconsciousness. When the subconsciousness gets that one, it has to require original force to run. Okay?